Hello everybody, John Fulford here. How are you? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. As you could tell, I'm not in the animal shelter. I'm working on a, uh, a real estate project, as you could tell by the broken banister behind me, BBB, and the echo, echo, echo of being in an empty house with no real furniture, except my studio desk, of course. So today I wanna to talk about foreign language music and how that could be more lucrative than doing tracks in your native language. What does that mean? It means that if you are in the United States of America, English is the native language of this territory, but French or German, Korean, is a foreign language, okay? If you're in France, German and Korean are foreign languages, so is English a foreign language, but French is a native language, okay? So it depends what territory you're in. So there's one or two ways to tackle this. Either take your English tracks or native language tracks and go into foreign territories and try to get them synced and licensed, or produce foreign language tracks in your native territory. We're gonna talk about the latter. Why producing tracks in foreign languages in your native territory can lead to more syncs, to more success than if you did your native language, okay? If the music supervisor in the United States, in Los Angeles, needs an English language pop track, they have access to dozens and dozens, probably hundreds and hundreds of English language pop tracks at their disposal, either immediately through their existing catalog that, that they've, that they've uh, I don't want the word curated, I think that's for actual museum pieces, but that they curated, that they took in over the years, or they put out a brief over email and they get publishers, licensing companies, producers, labels, and the like to send them English language pop. And they get dozens, if not hundreds of tracks in a short amount of time. But if they need a foreign language track, if they need a German pop track, a Vietnamese pop track, a French pop track, the supply goes down considerably. Okay, considerably. And yes, the demand for foreign language is not as high as English language, but the supply goes down more than the demand does. The supply goes down more than the demand goes down. See what I'm saying? So if you have access to foreign language rappers or singers, that's the way to go if you want to get sinks if you want to get licenses. You could take the most talented production team, it doesn't matter how talented they are, okay? You take six of Nashville's best music producers, singers, top liners, you put them in a writing camp, and you say, now do some French music. If no one in there speaks French, it doesn't matter how good they are, they can't produce that, okay? Because no one in there speaks French or speaks German or speaks Korean or any other foreign language. Or if two of the, of the writing team speaks French but they need Vietnamese tracks, it, it, it doesn't matter if they speak French. The project calls for Vietnamese. So it doesn't matter how talented the music comes out if it's not in the right language. Okay, now obviously, if the music is in a foreign language, it also has to be well produced. Okay, you need talent and the foreign language. Also, if a TV show that is shot, let's say it's shot in Vancouver, but it's set fictionally in Paris, and it's a Paris nightclub, how could they tell the viewer, which is the customer in this case, that the nightclub is in Paris? What's the easiest way to do it? You throw a French song on the nightclub, you know, the DJ playing a song in French, right? You don't have to go to Paris to shoot the scene. You don't even really have to have people speaking French in the scene. You throw a French song on the nightclub, uh, you, you throw a French song on the nightclub sound system, which means they dub it in after the fact. Oh, what if, what if they wanna change it to Moscow? You put a Russian song in. Let's change it to Berlin, a German song. Let's change it to London. You put a Eng uh, an English accent in, English song in. Okay, and for purposes of sync licensing, English accented English, I know it sounds kind of strange, European accented English, British English is a foreign language in, for purposes of this. Okay, and that's not even counting the slang words and the colloquialisms, it's just the accent. So that's why foreign language can, can be a very lucrative lane for you to go down 
if you want to get more sinks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. Here's some more videos you might like. Don't forget to subscribe and email me musiclicensingpodcast at gmail.com to join the John Fulford YouTube community. See you next time.